Um, thank you so much for coming in for a video. Let me adjust my camera a tiny bit. I do appreciate you being here. I just made myself my first cup of coffee. I'm late. I'm always late on weekends. I like to sleep in late. And today I got to do it till 7.30. <laughs> That's awfully early. <laughs> but my grandson spent the night with me, so that was fun. And he wakes up at the crack of dawn, and so that's what we did. But we're going to do a scoop of jewelry. I also just recorded a fabulous video for you. It is a jewelry jar. I actually found two jewelry jars and a jewelry bag. And I haven't opened the jewelry jars, but this one was a bag. And it's fantastic things in there. So I hope you come back for that one. I pre-recorded it. I'm going to edit it down. I had a lot of tangles. So we'll get all those tangles out of there and just let you see all the good good things. Now I am wearing some of the bracelets that I found, so I'm going to take some of those off. And um, you know how I always stack on the bracelets as I find them. And I totally forgot about these. And uh, I just, like I said, just recorded that video. So you are at the right channel at the right time today. If you feel like looking at jewelry and you love jewelry as much as I do, that's exactly what we do here. We find it we hunt for it. Hopefully we find treasure everywhere we go, but often we do find some junk as well. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Sonja. Sonja, thank you so much for being here. But I did have a little bit of a scratchy throat again this morning, so I was hoping a little cup of something warm would alleviate that. All right, so let me start scooping out some things from here and see what we get today. Getting a lot of empty plastic bags. I think I may have just left those from before. But let me see. This is a tub of jewelry that I purchased. And I think I figured out it's going to cost me probably the price of a few jewelry jars. So we have found some good things in here. Wonderful things in here. Actually, lots of sterling. Even a fantastic Native American squash blossom necklace and other things. Did I find James Avery? I'm not sure. I've already forgotten. I'm going to have to watch the playlist myself. I did make a playlist so you guys can tune in and watch that if you want. All of these will be there. This one will be uploaded to the playlist probably in a week or so. I like for it to run a little bit, and then I'll put it on the playlist. All right, so let's see how much we can scoop out of here. These do take a while, so I do want to be careful of the time and everything. Is that hair or wire? I can't tell. Oh, what is this? Look at this, a box. In a box with nothing in it, I don't think. I have not looked through this at all. You and I are looking at this together. And like I said, I bought it from a tub. This is a, a Rubbermaid tub that says it holds 6.5 gallons. It was about halfway full. But it is very, very heavy. And it does hold a lot. I think something popped out. I think it was this little bangle here. Welcome again, everyone who's here. I hope you like looking at jewelry. If you do, give it a thumbs up, because that's what we're going to do right now. Give this video a thumbs up as you walk in the door. Let me just take another sip of this amazing coffee, French brewed. French, what do you call it, a French press? That is just the best. How do you guys like your coffee? Do you drink coffee? Mm. Do you brew it in a percolator? I love percolators too, but my percolator is kind of on the brink right now. Hi, Miss Liz. Hi, Kathy and Janet. And Sanja, I think I said hello to you. I'm so glad you're here, as well as Kimberly. I think I have two Kimberleys in here, Kimberly Wynn and Kimberly Pines. Thank you guys so much. How is your Saturday going? Did you guys go bargain hunting today, thrifting or anything, estate sales? Oh, this is cute. It's a stretch. Some of these are lightweight, so I don't know. I think I need to clean it. There's some cage pearls in here. I mean, cage beads and some 
red looking pearls. Looks a little outstretched though. And it's interesting because it's not that heavy. But maybe it is with all the metal rings around it. That would, that would be worth redoing though. Because that's a very nice look. I like that. It's very pretty. Be nice to put it on a chain so it wouldn't stretch, right? Very cool. There's two. Cassandra. Thank you for joining me. A Christmas watch? Okay. Well, I have found a lot of long blonde hair in here. In this and lots of these jewelry jars. I don't know if they're wigs or what. Hi, Joni. Thank you, everyone who's here. I appreciate it. This is cute. It's a little Christmas watch. And I'm glad it's not on a stretch. Look at that. Oh, let me show you the rings of the day before you ask. And some people always ask. That's why I show them. I have my wraparound gold tone, no, silver tone snake. I love that. I got that at Macy's, I think. I don't remember, but I really like it. I wish it was real silver, but it's just silver tone. This is a an interesting ring. It has tested as citrine, but I think it's also, well, no, it's tested spinel in the Presidium. But the person that sold it to me said it was citrine. I actually think it's one of those fancy colored spinels. I really like it. I got it at an auction here on YouTube. And the little tiny stones are diamonds. They do test as diamonds. And then this is a beautiful Art Deco, truly Art Deco that I purchased. Really snagged this one up on Macari and so beautifully done. Vintage to the point where even the marcasites are still there. You can always tell those vintage marcasites because they're usually not missing. They're made really, really differently. I think they used hematite instead of pyrite or vice versa. I forget which one naturally shrinks and eventually, inevitably, notoriously, falls out and then this is a beautiful 14 karat gold ruby and diamond that i got from miss liz who's in the chat there she has a auction rather a sale every sunday makeup zombie there i love that little one i love white gold as well okay what else is in here a big heavy chain with okay <laughs> My husband will probably take this for his biker wallet. He always keeps his wallet on the chain. <laughs> and he loves interesting chains. <laughs> this is really interesting. I don't know. Or, you know, a lot of kids are wearing them fashion-wise as well, putting them in their pockets and stringing them around their trousers, as they say. What is this? Two bunnies. Oh, that's cute. Somebody made a little brooch. They even signed it. Helen, I think is what it says. And I guess they kind of coded it somehow. I don't know. And it's Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. There you go. Wow. Okay. I just showed you the Christmas watch. Here's a single earring. Lightweight metal. <coughs> Excuse me. Take another drink of that coffee. Again, this is the scoops from the big tub of jewelry that I got. A couple of, what was it? I think it's going on a month and a half that I got it. Little kids bangle. I do like these bangles. These are cute. These are kind of amber colored. They're just costume. This one's actually crooked. I'm going to have to straighten that one out. But this one's very nice. Little amber colored glass. They're, I don't think they're glass. I think they're acrylic, but they look like amber glass or something. That's a nice bangle. A little on the big side for me, though. Nice kind of match. These tiny things have been... I don't even think these are bracelets. I don't know what those are. Some gold tone hoop there. Let's see what's in the bag. Thanks for the thumbs up. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That um, is right below the screen. So if you just look below your screen, there's a thumb. And that indicates to YouTube that you're enjoying the video. And it will share this channel out to more people so they can enjoy it as well. They may like it as well. Oh, these are darling. Look at these. 
Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These remind me of those 80s collectible charm bracelets. Remember everyone had those? You could add a charm. These are darling. Look at that. A day at the beach. Oh, I love them. We've got the sunnies there. This one needs to be fixed right there in the little sunglasses the pale nice refreshing drink oh i love those on the earth i think is created by wada or wada so cool these are clips too marshalls these are glass beads on there these are nice they're a little bit um kind of like lunch at the ritz or something style <laughs> those are so cute do you like those? Hi, Monique. Someone said, hi, Monique. So I said, hi, Monique, too. Oh, look, these look kind of like those Indian style ones. I forget what they're called. Those are beautiful, though, in gold. I mean, they're usually in gold. These are silver with black beads. Very cool. Okay, let's see what this is. This is kind of goth. Look at what in the world. Oh my gosh. Is that, I think some, oh my. Looks like this can come off. It's got it. Looks almost looks like somebody spray painted this. It is so cool. How does it go? Okay, the chains go there. Okay, I get it. I think I get it. No, I don't get it. <laughs> this way. I think it goes this way. I don't know. <laughs> Where's my little display? I forgot my display. I had it here earlier. That is so interesting. I love the black chains. Look at that. They're all black curved. This one has to be hooked somewhere, I believe. And then I think... Yeah, I think that's the way it goes. That is really a cool piece. I'm going to have to get Robert to redesign that a bit, or what do you call it? Reconstruct it, because I really like it. Very heavy piece, too. Isn't that interesting? Then we have a little rhinestone thing here. That's pretty. Here's my little thing. This looks like a vintage piece. It's a fold over clasp. The rhinestones are nice. The new ones are never this brilliant. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Welcome all that are here. This is a channel where we love to look at jewelry. We love to hunt for it. I hope you like doing that as well. If you do and you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Oh, wow. That's a pretty earring inside there. Oh, so is that silver one. Oh, I love this diamond cut silver one. I was looking at this one, too. This one's gorgeous. I hope I find the mats. The matches and mates to these. Look how pretty that one is. Pink. Every color in the rainbow in here. Pink, blue, gold. Silvery. That is a pretty earring. Let's hope we find it. And this one looks like sterling. Beautiful diamond cutting. Oh my gosh, I hope I find the one. Yes, it's it's marked right there. Sterling at the top. Looks like it says 925. Right there. Very cool. Let me double check that. Yeah, it says ATI 925. ATI, a lot of people are curious about that. Some of them might even say Mexico ATI. It's just the new hallmark for trading. You know how you used to have to have the origin written on them for trading with other countries, imports, exports, that kind of thing. But uh, since NAFTA was kind of dismantled or whatever they did with it. But these are almost the same, but different colors. They have a new mark they put on their imported things. So that's ATI. 
All right. <clears throat> this one's cute too. This one is orange. Very abstract looking. I'm trying to figure it out here. I think that's the back of it. And it's really cool. It's got abalone. It's got enamel. And I love this. Look at that. Those are genuine abalone. This almost looks like that tin work they do in Mexico. I love that. You know, the silver decor they do on mirrors and things. But I think it's just a silver tone. It's tangled. It's a nice look, though. I really love it. And I really am into orange and yellows this year for some reason. That's very cool. I'm surprised I don't see a mark just to drop on it. Wow. I can't even see if it says 925 on there or anything, but I don't know. It appears to be silver tone, but it actually feels like sterling. So it's just a nice piece. Oh, excuse me. Very nice piece. Hi, Miss Becky. How are you? Thanks for being here. Hi, Anne. I didn't say hello. It's just because I'm trying to get through the jewelry before we um, go into an hour. These are genuine pearls. This is interesting because the other day I found the matching bracelet. It has the exact same type of extender and closure with the jump ring. It was also genuine. They were also genuine pearls. So that's a nice strand, a nice string of pearls there. Love that. And that is sterling. Well, that's another good scoop out of there for sure. I have to find the bracelet. I think I brought it to auction last week, but it didn't sell. In case anyone is interested in anything you ever see in a haul, please email me. All my information is always in the details. I don't sell directly on the channel, but I always have been inquired upon about things that I bring so don't hesitate to do that and please join my auction group over on Facebook those details are also in the description box it's a free group but it's a private group so we meet over there on Facebook every Saturday I'll be there in about an, what time is it now I have no idea but I'll be there at 5 30 p.m. I think I still have time oh this is a pretty earring too just a silver tone. It's interesting. These earrings are made so, they're so pretty, prettily designed, beautifully designed rather. And yet sometimes they just wear out so quickly you can't enjoy them. All right. Another kind of um, Pakistani, South Asian design here. Very small. Sometimes they're made that way for adults. Sometimes for children. I don't know. A little gold bangle. This one's in good condition. Very nice condition on that one. And this one actually looks like it lost its beads. Usually they put a little string of beads over those. Like the ones that I just showed you, like these. See, it looks like it actually fell off. So I'll put that one in the crafter. Another earring, single earring. There's a stretch. I had a necklace like this on last week. This is such a pretty stone, whatever it is. However they mirror that, I don't know. Little beads there. And more of this crazy kid jewelry. We found a lot of that stuff last time. This one's a dangle. I thought it was missing a stone. I think it might be missing some dangles, though, because see how it's got some empty spaces there? Can't quite tell. Okay, what is this? This looks pretty. Look at that. That's pretty. And this is on a jump ring. It looks like it's marked. See the back? What does it say? 925? You can see it better than me. Look how beautiful those stones are. They look like zircons. Could be crystals, but really pretty. I like it. 
Let me see what it says here. Thank you again for hitting that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. 925 China, and it has an R. It almost looks like the Pierre Cardin symbol. I know it isn't, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. Look how beautiful. Little danglies in that beautiful teal and blue. Very nice. Sterling chain as well. Well, that was a good one. Very nice. Okay. I think this is silver tone. Nice chain on it though. Oh my gosh, we got a we got a major tangle in here, don't we? And this oh, this brooch is causing a lot of the problem here. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Okay, we've got some wear on this brooch, but that's pretty. Very mid-century looking, right? I would wear it this way. Oh, I'm going to try to touch that up, though. That's a beautiful brooch. It really is. It even has that linen texture. You notice that? All right, what else? What else is in this tangle? Oh, there's a wire, of course. Of course there's a wire. This one is so cool. This big one. Look at this. Pink, gold. I love that. I love these big, chunky things. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like a 1950s bathroom. That beautiful pink and gold. <laughs> And there's like another pearl inside of there wrapped around a wire or a wire wrapped around the pearl and then another bead inside the clear ones too. I don't think it's vintage. It's got a lobster claw, but it's so cute. That is really cool. <clears throat> there's 50 people here and only 12 people have put a thumbs up. Please go over and give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video so far. All you have to do is leave the screen, look under the screen for a minute. There's some thumbs there. It's pink, Vanessa. How are you, Vanessa? I hope you're doing well. This looks, um, this looks like a sterling piece too for some reason. Let me take a look at that little bar. It could just be a gold tone. You know, sterling is so interesting when it starts tarnishing. It turns gold. It even turns to a rainbow effect. It really does. But I think this was a gold tone that has faded. So that is not matched yet. There's a little cute pearl earring. That's very cool. Almost looks like a Chica's design. You see that? That's cute. More single earrings. Let me put these aside. I am saving most of these that are pretty. I'm saving them till I finish the, is this together? No, I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. So that's gonna go into crafter a lot. I am saving them separately if they're pretty to match them up when I finish with the entire bucket here. So we shall see. This is tarnished, I think. I don't think it's sterling. Okay. I like that. That's a nice single earring. Very nice. Okay. Let's try to get the tangle out and then we will go back there and look in that bag. Okay. Didn't I just see this? Interesting. This is the second one I see in the other jewelry bag that I opened earlier. They did it. Oh, look how cute the little tassel. Who made that? That is such a cute little. Look, it's got a little. I think it's, oh my gosh, I was going to say Talbot's, but now I see something else. Let me see what it says. That's a cute one. No, it's got like a symbol. Craziest thing. It's like a, an ass and a, 
another little symbol but anyway it's cute it's like a little drop necklace i guess a lariat style two rings and did i just see something like this with the, was it the matching earring i don't know but we will put that aside that is really pretty here are oh these are cool look at these I think they're just, and I was just talking about how they do these painted, and many times I'll see people present them, and um, they'll talk about them as if they're inlaid with sterling. So you have to really look. I can't tell with these. These look like they are sterling now. It looks like they put them in there with these, which are so interesting as well. Wow, let me take a look at these first. Because these definitely look like sterling. And they don't, they look like the plique du jour enameling more than Native American inlay, don't you think? Because look, you can see the back of them. I don't know. I'm going to take a loop to them. I really can't even tell, but they're beautiful. And I believe they're sterling. Let me see if I see any kind of a mark on them. They're beautiful. Or they, and I just don't, I know they're not Native American because they're open in the back. Native Americans don't do in open rings or inlay. They're never able to be seen from the back. But they could be a Southwest style. Yeah, it looks like there are stones in here that are inlaid. I think I see mostly, I would have to go with man-made man -made stones. They're very nicely done, though. They really are, because they look more like either glass or howlite. And I'll test them. I don't see a mark, but I do like them. I am wearing garnets. I'm wearing, uh, actually I'm wearing a ruby and a garnet. This one is a genuine deco that I got on Macari. I was so excited to get that piece. Very, very interesting that I found that. And then, and those are garnets, yeah. Okay, these are really interesting. Lead-free. I can't tell if these are vintage or not. I like the design. A couple of stones are a little faded out. But those are interesting. Okay. What's in here? The giving keys. Pay it forward. Okay, I think I have found some of these before. These are tiny little keys. Have you guys heard of these? I don't even want to take it out of the package. TheGivingKeys.com. Pass it on to someone you you feel needs the message. And they're very shiny. Shoot, choose your em, choose and embrace your word. Your word. These are so pretty. I think I did find one in a jar once, but it wasn't in brand new condition like this one. Look at that tiny beautiful key, and I love these types of paillettes they're so sparkly that's beautiful okay i have to put that back in the package in a minute i like that earrings that are fine silver plated very pretty very pretty drops and what is this? This is nice. This is a little copper drop. Look at that. I think this is sterling too. I'm going to read that little jump ring though because it looks a little dark, right? Interesting jump ring they put on that. Hi, Miss Susan. Thanks for being here. Thank you, everyone who joined. I'm so happy you're here. It is Mark925. I hope that you took the time to give it a thumbs up as you walked in the door. Don't forget to subscribe as well. The 925 is on the lobster claw there. 
So that's a pretty piece. Let's look at it a little closer. I like it. It's very artsy. Look at that. Look at that. Kind of modernist. Love the chain. Sterling silver. Wow, this has been a fabulous, fabulous bucket of jewelry. He looked at me like, you're getting a bargain, lady. Don't even try. Even though we haggled. We actually haggled. And he did go down on the original price for me. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, that's a nice piece. I can't tell if it's supposed to be a flower or just abstract or what. And I love when they mix the metals like that. Very nice. Very nice sterling piece on that. Oh, wow. Excited about that. There. And sometimes if I take everything out of the wires, then the wire just kind of stops bugging me. I don't want to have to execute it. But I will if I have to. <gasps> oh, that's pretty too. Is that an earring? No, they're all there. Okay. Uh, sometimes I can't tell if they belong there or they just came along for the ride on these messy, sometimes messy jewelry jars. And in this case, a jewelry tub. This is beautiful. This is really pretty. I love all the colors in it. Blues, amber colors, pearls, turquoise color, and even a nice peachy coral looking one. That's very cool. I like that. Thank you again for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, please hit that thumbs up. I love this. Okay, these are glass. They are not acrylic on the amber colored ones. Very nice. It's a cute piece. Okay, here's a piece of something. It's a barrette. It's an old barrette. Look at that. Missing a stone or two. I'll probably put that in the harvest lot. We can probably use those rhinestones for something else. Don't miss the recorded video I'm going to put up this coming week. I opened a jewelry bag that I only paid $39 for. And I actually found a jewelry jar for, I think, 16 different thrift stores, though. Goodwill's still charging an arm and a leg for their... This is pretty. I think this is Black Hills Gold. Or style. I don't know. Look at that. Does... Isn't that Black Hills gold leaf, you know, with the green gold? And what do they do, 12 karat gold? I think Black Hills usually does 12 and 10 karat. But let's see what this says. That's a cute little tiny pendant. Thank you for your patience. I know that the tangles and all of that is not for everyone, but some people don't mind. Jump ring on that. Let's let's read. <laughs> but that's it there. It looks like a piece of black onyx with an over or rather an applique of Black Hills Gold type leafing. Can you see that? I don't know if it says something back there. I'll have to look. It does, but I don't know what. So let me get close with the loop. Well, I say hello to a couple of people real quick as well. You love the tangles, Miss Susan. Hey, Melanie, how are you? Thanks for being here. And it's a butterfly. What's a butterfly? This little thing? Okay, this little thing says G-O 10K. Awesome. G.O. Now, I know there are two companies that make Black Hills Gold. Um, I know that they have, I don't know if they lost their trademark or somehow another company also can use the name Black Hills Gold. Let me know if you know about that. I'm getting confused of, with my knowledge about Black Hills Gold. But it does say 10K. Bingo. Awesome possum. Awesome possum. Yeah, and it says, actually it says R.G. RGC, 
10K, 12K. See, I was right about that. I know Black Hills Gold uses 10K and 12K. Oh, I wish it could, it would focus. You can't see it with my lights either. Maybe with this one. It doesn't seem to focus. There it is. 10K, 12K. Beautiful. I think it's onyx. Now let's see what the jump ring says. We got a gold chain. That's even better, right? We love our gold here. Who doesn't? Okay. The chain. Yep. The chain says 14K gold filled. The chain is gold filled. It's got the, the fraction mark 120. So they must have just put it on here, but the pendant's beautiful. I do have some 10K. As a matter of fact, oh, I want to give it away. But you guys, <laughs> you guys have to watch the other videos. But I, I do have other little chains that I can put that on. Not that I mind, ten, you know, the gold filled is, is wonderful. It's a, basically a sandwich of gold with a base metal, usually sterling. Now, I know Vermeer has to have sterling in the sandwich. Not sure about all gold filled. Nice one. I love Black Hills Gold. Okay, we got a little bracelet that looks quite interesting. This almost looks like that Tiffany one I got from Miss Martha one time. But it was a necklace. Let me see. This one says 925. Yeah, nice rope. I guess the gold chain around it is 925 as well, kind of. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? Unless it has another mark. Let me look on here. But it does say 925 on the beautiful, very heavy rope chain. This is a really nice and heavy rope chain. Let me look on these little end caps and see if anything else is written about that gold chain. It might just be a brass chain, could be a gold filled, could be a vermeil. Hi, Miss Robin. You bought that beautiful Tiffany, didn't you, Miss Robin? Yes. I love that. That was beautiful. Doesn't it kind of remind you of this? But it was a little bit different because it had more of a glistening to the, to the rope. You know how Tiffany does. Beautiful things. Okay, it is marked on here. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Let's see what it says, guys. I'm excited. This one says Precious. It actually says Precious 14K. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. I'm so glad I do most of these live because you guys would not even believe me. It actually says Precious, Precious. And it says Trademark. And it says 14K925. So the chain is 14K. Amazing. Because... FYI, if the gold accents or the gold on anything that you have that is silver, if it is not solid gold, they do not have to mark it. They will, they should not mark it because it's not. But when it is solid, they, it will be marked 14K, as is this right here on this banding, which is also gold. Because see, the other one doesn't have gold, it's got silver. Oh my goodness, nice. I hope you can see that. Let me bring it close and then I'll magnify it. So you can see it says Precious Precious. I guess that's the brand. And then it says 925 and 14K. Wow. Sorry, the glare is kind of messing with me there, but you can see it. I'm so excited. That's an awesome bracelet. Yes, and I remember Miss Robin bought that beautiful necklace. I love Tiffany. I'm on a quest to, to own as much as I possibly can, especially from Elsa Peretti. I am just so in love with most of what I can afford. Of course, I can't afford everything she makes. But I love the love affair she had with Sterling and how she brought it to the map in the 70s when people were scoffing at it. And she reminded us that it was a precious metal and she found it very easy to work with. And she always, now 
I just saw a beautiful interview with uh, from her. She always took into account what it was she was making before she decided to use sterling or or gold. And she did prefer for herself sterling. Seek the Lord and find peace in his presence. This looks like pewter. Hope in his promise. That's what it looks like to me. It's not marked. That's a nice bangle. So very nice. I think I got me another stacker. Love the mixed metals. <sighs> Thanks, Gail. Here's a little costume piece. It looks like it has some kind of nylon cord with gold. I remember when this was a very popular look. That. And. All right. It looks like we've saved this little amber colored wire from execution today. We will put it in a crafter lot or a bead lot. Actually, I put most of these in bead lots. Uh, I have to I have to do something there to take that out. But at least this is out. It's just glass. It's pretty, actually. I like the almost animal print on those there. Those would make some nice earrings. I wish I had more time to craft jewelry. I have so many ideas and so little time. Another little earring there. And we've got the matching pink. 50s pink. Love it. Here's a pearl. One earring. This looks like sterling as well. Oh, I hope we get a match to this. Again, I do have a bounding hope because I am not done with that bucket by any means. This one is marked 925 and you, oh my gosh, AS. A-S-N-F-I. I don't know. I, oh, I think that's the designer. I've seen her. I think think she's um, Pakistani, Amitra or something like that. I forget. That's a beautiful little earring. I like that pearl. Looks like a mauve pearl there. And I'll definitely hold on to that one and see if we get a match on it. Here it is. Oh, my gosh. It was tangled in here. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I love when that happens. I love when the earrings come and reunite right here in the same bag. <laughs> awesome. These are beautiful. And I needed some new pearl earrings, especially the drops. I have a lot of the, you know, the studs and the posts, but I like the drops. That's a beautiful orient on that pearl, too. Can you see that beautiful luster? Look how it almost looks like a crown. The setting is beautiful. Oh my goodness, that was a nice one. That was a good find right there. What else is in this necklace? Tangled up. Anything else? No. Cute necklace. A little on the sullied side. I have to clean it. Look at my hands already dirty from this jewelry. Like I said in the other video I recorded today, it's a dirty job. But I volunteered. That'll look nice if you clean it up. Who is this? Bru somebody. It's got, they signed their work. There you go. That's cute. It really is. I'm going to clean it up. I kind of like it. Okay. Some loose beads. Are these match? Or no. No, these don't match. Okay, we have some leather junk here. You know, we get the junk with the treasure. Thank you, everyone that's joined us today. Rayanne, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. And Susan as well. It's a little choker piece. This is pretty. This is really pretty. I love these, especially on the young girls when they wear these. They look so pretty. They don't wear much, but just a simple little choker or something. They look so cute. Oh, nice earrings. Look at that. Well, one earring. Let's hope we find the other one. Lightweight, too. Speak in my language there. I love that. More junky junk. little bird on there, but I'll put that in a crafter lot. Because some people do wonders with those. 
And we have a gold hoop, a little worn. More of these very thin. This one has the Tree of Life or something. Here's another. Is this... To, oh my gosh, tell me it's James Avery. <laughs> tell me it's James Avery because the crown looks familiar, but I don't know. That jump ring doesn't look like James Avery. But I don't know. Look at the tiny charms. Let me see. Sometimes people mix up their stuff. We're not all purists when it comes to James Avery. Sometimes people mix it up. I've seen this in James Avery, but not this small. It might just be like an imitation inspo. Let me see what it says here. Oh my goodness. Okay, nothing on that charm that I see. No, I think BS It looks like it just says 925 on the heart. And what else? Oh, the crown. The crown also looks awfully small. And it looks like they just put it on there, didn't even solder it. But these charms are very much a James Avery design. But they are often copied. Never duplicated. Okay, this this crown is marked too on the inside, but I can't quite read it. It looks like a long mark. Let me see what it says, and then I'll read the bracelet. This one does say sterling. What a cute charm! So they are they do say sterling, but I don't see a James Avery mark. Again, I just recognize the designs as James Avery. The bracelet is. 925 as well. And I don't believe any of these are James Avery. They are just Mark Sterling. And James Avery will never um, put an origin mark either. I don't see one on here, but. And they don't have the. Um, they'll be marked Avery or J.A with the candelabra. Okay, cute though. Very nice little bracelet. I have to clean that up. It's definitely tarnished. And here's another little tidbit, just a tassel. Probably came off an earring. All right, oh my goodness, how long have we been on? We've been on 47 minutes. These are gorgeous. Really pretty. This looks like the same brand as this one with the silver plating. These are very pretty. These are kind of a rose gold encrusted with rhinestones. Oh, wow. What is this? Is this sterling? It's a little block. What a nice earring. Long. Let me see what it says. I don't, I don't know if it says anything. It looks like a design. Yeah, it's just a little design, but it really does look like sterling. The earring does. It may just be silver tone, though. Can't quite tell. And the chains do look a little bit more like silver tone. Not sure. All right. Oh, look at this. This is pretty. And these are pretty, too. Look at these. Very nice fashion pieces, but very pretty. Great condition. And this is quite interesting. Like enameling, cloisonne or something. This is just, needs to be, yeah, this is like some kind of enameling. Just needs to be cleaned off right there. I can actually feel these little gold specks. They have a little bit of a texture. That's interesting. Blue and gold, I love it. You may have to reshape that a bit because it is on a coil. And it looks like it's broken. It's missing the hook. But that's really pretty. Like that. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. 
is this? Oh, an earring. It's an earring with a lightning bolt. Really pretty. Kind of a little hugger hoop there. I guess I can put the loose earrings in here. Especially the small ones. There's a blue one. And that little lightning bolt's kind of cute. What is this? Oh, this is a Kate Spade. This is cool. I, I say that because of the spade, and it is marked back here, Kate Spade. Kate Spade, New York. Beautiful. Great condition on this. Wow, it looks kind of small. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. That is so pretty. Really nicely done. Great condition. That was a great scoop so far. Oh my gosh, that's nice. I love that. All right, we found this one. I saved this one last week. I don't know what kind of a stone. It almost looks like a composite of uh, gaspy eyed and something. I don't know. It looks quite pretty, though. And I think this these are actually sterling. They're beautiful. I love that green. And I do have the other one saved from last time. And this looks like a, a little silver tone. And... It has a mark on it, some kind of bracelet here. And how light, and it says pray for us. So it's got a little Catholic icon there. Little bracelet, pretty. These are actually very weighty, the beads that are dangling down. That's pretty. And pearls, faux pearls, of course. Okay, so we did get these matched up, the black ones. Beautiful. Need to get the brown ones matched up. And that's an earring as well. Really nice one. Looks like a CZ in there. Let me put that in the little glass thingy too. A little guitar. How cute is that? And then here's the brown one. So we got these matched up. Those are nice. Black and brown. Got these. Yes or no? No. Not matched up yet. And these big hoops. Articulated hoops. Thank you everyone who joined. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up as you walk in the door. I haven't uh, had a chance to say hello to everyone, but I do appreciate everyone being here. Just trying to get through the jewelry. And we've got some tidbits there. Looks like some little seed pearls falling everywhere now. Here's another one. Here's a ring that has a yin-yang copper base. Just a little costume piece ring. Another beautiful chandelier earring. Oh my gosh. Hope we get them oh, we got the silver earrings. Yes. Awesome. These are sterling. I adore these. I adore these. I need to start wearing my silver earrings. Again, in that interview with um, Elsa Peretti, she was saying she really liked wearing silver against her white hair. She did wind up with uh, white hair like many of us do. <laughs> So I, I do love gold and silver. I love them both. But she's right. There is something really special about the white hair going against the silver earrings. As is the red hair or the black hair if you're lucky enough to have beautiful dark hair. Nothing like it, right? Nothing like the sheen of silver. Look at that beautiful diamond cutting. These were marked at the top. Oh, I love them. And they're very lightweight. They're like probably an inch and a half in diameter. Perfect hoop. Absolutely perfect silver hoop. Another ring. Here's a brass one. This almost looks like a Heidi Dawes. Pretty. Look at that peridot color. You see that? 
and it is brass. I don't think, let me look and see if I don't see a mark. That's pretty. I don't see very many Heidi Doss rings. Do you guys like Heidi Doss? I've seen a lot of her bangles, watches. Now I see a little bit of a cartouche there, but I don't, can't read anything in it. But I don't often find her rings. No, that was not, I don't believe, a Heidi Doss, but it just kind of reminded me of her work. All right, let's see what's in these bags. Again, we are getting some single earrings here and there that haven't been matched. That one I think was, I love this Kate Spade. That is so nice. Okay, someone threw this in a bag. I, it must be broken. No, it's just a stretch. I don't even think these are gemstones. I think they're actually ceramic. And I put that back in here. And then there's just another little stretch. Looks like a hematite bead just fell out of there, though. That is heavy. Hematite is quite heavy. All right, let's see what's in this plastic bag. And then we have another little plastic. Boy, this was a big scoop. I couldn't stop. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up. Oh my gosh, did someone just give me a super chat? 365 Vintage Hunter. Thank you so much. I know I haven't been around for a while, but I wanted to send you to say thank you for all the info you teach us. Oh, thank you so very much. That is so kind of you. I really do appreciate that. Very nice of you. Thank you. Look at that. 50, number $58. I think someone was crafting these at home. Yes, yes, look at that, chunky. Thank you so much. And I guess she made these too. Let's look in here. Okay, this one has some tape around it. Let me tear it off. Couldn't get in there, that tape was... Oh, I actually like these. <laughs> these are cool. These are really cool. They're plastic. They're acrylic. So they're not heavy, but they have a really pretty cobalt blue color. A little bike home as well. Those are nice. Okay. So that bag is empty. And then there, this was empty too. Talbot Sterling. Well, where is it? Maybe it fell out. Maybe it's in the bucket. I know. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's a pretty earring, too. I'm excited about these earrings because, like I said, I'm not done with this bucket. It has an eye on it. I wonder if that's Ivana, Ivanka, when she was on QVC. Here's an, a ring. Oh, it's missing a stone. These are opals and garnets. Looks like someone tried to replace the stone. Opals and garnets on sterling. This is sterling. I should send this to Sandy. Maybe she'll fix it. Miss Sandy. Bet you she's got a garnet sticking in that drawer somewhere. Wowie. Very interesting. These are opals. Genuine opals at that. Look at that. What a gorgeous ring. That's worth fixing, isn't it? It really is. If I could find another... I'm sure I can find another garnet somewhere. And that's just gunk on that other one. It's like somebody got some gunk on it. Oh, how pretty. Right? Nice to see some real garnets, too. Often you see those fake ones. Or Gilson or whatever. And it's really crazy how gar how opals are drowned out with the lights and the camera. You can never see the fire. Rarely. But this one does have some fire flashing through it. What a shame. Maybe the garnet is in the bag. I will look. I'm going to look like crazy. That is very cool. All right. Let's see what else. We have this bag here. Nothing was in the Talbot Sterling. So now we know Talbot's still Sterling. Let me see here. 
This might be broken. I don't know. I'm just going to pour it out and find out. Here's another single earring. Pour it out. I mean, I would think that's why they would put it in a bag, but I don't know. You never know what they're thinking over at the Goodwill. Where is it? This probably was part of a bracelet. Yeah, there's some broken pieces in here. Lots of little tidbits, some painted charms, beads, I mean. Hi, Miss Colleen. Oh, look at this. I like this. Hey, I saw some of these in another piece. Remember the knots that I showed the other day? I don't remember if I showed them in my auction or if I showed them as they came out of the bags or jars. These little knotted beads. And these have agates and unikite. Look at the darling heart. Um, what is that one? Jasper, red jasper in there. Look. This is beautiful. Some crystal beads as well. There's the jasper again. This is unfinished. So this is an unfinished piece. It needs the little clamper beads on one side. And, well, I guess it popped off. It needs to be repaired with another clamper bead like that. And then you're ready to wear it. Very cool, though. All right, that's that. And I guess that's an earring right there. Yeah, here's the other one. I have to untangle it, and then there it is. Some kind of a dangle earring. This is actually plastic and not copper. More tidbits in here. Oh, look at these. <laughs> wow. Put in some pretty colors in that uh, concha style there. Some stars. It looks like a beater was here for sure. Look at those beautiful stars. Here's an old earring. Beautifully done. Look at this one. I love this kidney shaped design. Yeah, wire threading through there. Crystals. Look at those amazing beads. I hope the other one's in here somewhere. That would be wonderful. Uh, oh, it is, it is, it is. Awesome. Look how gorgeous. These are beautiful. That green is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love those. My hands are filthy with this jewelry, but boy, did we score! Love these. Oh my gosh. Those are pretty. Then we've got a little jade looking elephant on an earring here. Don't see the other one yet. Rose quartz. This is, this looks like rose quartz on these pink beads, but they're acrylic and they're tangled up with this other little beaded thing. Oh my gosh, someone is just getting so creative, right? She's probably going to make the earrings out of these. <laughs> and more beads started and unfinished and damaged and more stars. Here's a hematite look. I don't think this is Im imitation. Imitation, I say, because it's very lightweight and genuine hematite. is very heavy. You can spot it pretty quickly. Here's a little finding in the heart design. This is gorgeous. Look at these. This would make an awesome pendant. I don't think it was even an earring. Look at all the gemstones on here. I've got hematite, unikite, <laughs> lapis, everything under the sun. That's gorgeous. Hey, it's under the sun. What a pun. <laughs> no pun intended, but I had one anyway. Wow, that's crazy. This is actually a little sun motif. <laughs> How cute. Well, wow, talk about a score today, huh? We had gold. We had everything. Kate Spade. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. Give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Consider joining the channel to support the content here. Join me on Facebook for auctions. Always write to me if there's anything you fell in love with in a haul. Write to me in an email and we can discuss it there. I don't sell directly to, on the channel or in the comments or anything like that. Hey, Don, how are you? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to go have my first meal of the day. I've had coffee enough already. And then I will see those of you who are in my auction later on today. Have a great weekend. Bye.